I'm Victor Vogel. I have 2,500 hours, and my ratings are commercial, instrument, CFI, CFII, AGI, and IGI. I had a 44-year career in medicine, and for 36 years, I've done clinical research in breast cancer. What I fly now is a Cirrus SR-22. We're approaching 2,000 hours, and I have had the SR-22 from coast to coast. The tail number on our Cirrus SR-22, which we bought new in 2005, is 625 Victor Sierra. 625 is June 25th, which is our wedding anniversary. We just celebrated 45 years. And the V is for Victor, that's me. And the S is Sally, my wife. I've been a member of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association for, I think, more than 40 years. Um, and I'm also a member of their Hat in the Ring Society. I also became uh, a member of the board of directors of the National Association of Flight Instructors, NAFI. And what I bring to the NAFI board is the ability to talk about aeromedical factors um, and things that pertain to the safety of flight from a physiology and, and medicine perspective. About a year and a half ago, a group of pilots and I here at the Penn Valley Airport founded a nonprofit um, public charity called Susquehanna STEM to the Skies. And of course, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So our mission in Susquehanna STEM to the Skies is to get information to the local high schools and technical schools and trade schools that aviation, broadly defined, offers a number of career opportunities today and in the near future and invite those schools to the airport to see our full motion Redbird FMX simulator to show them what it's like to fly a general aviation airplane. The biggest advantage with Sirius XM is the NEXRAD weather and the ability to see the NEXRAD weather well beyond the range of the local stations. Uh, if you use ADS-B, you're limited to essentially the local stations, but with Sirius XM, I can see the weather in the entire country. And uh, as a flight instructor, I'm often asked to give presentations, and I have shown images captured from Sirius XM and showed them how Sirius XM allowed me to do these long cross-country flights in summer weather and not get into convective difficulty. So my best memory of using Sirius XM actually occurred in mid-August when we flew from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania with our two young granddaughters and there was a rather sizable storm system and Sirius XM allowed me to carefully monitor not only the presence of that weather but the movement of that system which fortunately wasn't moving much at all. By following that weather system on Sirius XM, I could safely pass that large weather system in southwestern Pennsylvania. You know, I had precious cargo on board when I was doing that.